Okay, slight change of pace from the videos that I've been making in the last few days about the Second Amendment and the gun changes. In the US I still have a few things, points I want to make and arguments I want to get into, but we'll take a little break. This is a figurine of an Australian soldier from the Vietnam era. It's manufactured by a company called the Naked Army. I have a number of these and I wanted to make a video about them. I did about a year, a year and a half ago. I had uh, this particular figurine. I made a video about it. I gave away a couple uh, in a competition. Oh, it must be about two years ago now. Um, I understand people got those. I got an email from one guy saying he didn't get it. Then I didn't hear from him, so I'm assuming it arrived. But anyway, there's been a development with this company. Um, they've moved into making this scale figurine with this magnificent detail with US troops. Uh, World War I, World War II, Vietnam, through to the Gulf War. And they're upstairs in the library. I'm going to take you up and we'll have a look. And I'll have a, a quick chat about how you can order these, what they cost, why I think they're fantastic, and a special project which I'm getting started with, with the sculptor. So we'll go upstairs and we'll have a look at what I've got in the library. Okay, so here are the four other figurines that I have. You would have seen some of them, but not others. The guy that started this is an Australian bloke called Scott. He has an interest in the Second World War. He's obviously an extremely accomplished sculptor. He does commissions for large-scale memorial type works and individual commissions. And he started off by making a range of these figurines as my hand for the scale um, dealing with the Australian Army military history. We were very enthusiastic about the pieces and were encouraging him to branch out and do some others that dealt with other Commonwealth nations or the United States military forces and I'm delighted to say that not as a result of our advice but he's, he's done precisely that. In the last couple of months he's released a whole series of US figurines and this is one of them. This is an 82nd Airborne Trooper um, kitted out for the drop into Normandy. I hope the camera can pick up the detail because it is absolutely exquisite. This guy takes pains to do the research um, to the absolute nth degree to make sure that the equipment etc is correct. So that's one of the US figurines. This one just arrived today. It's from the Naked Army series. Now the Naked Army refers to a phrase that was used with respect to the Anzac forces in the First World War. At Gallipoli, the Australians in particular were famous for stripping off and going for a swim in Anzac Cove. They were also famous for stripping off their shirts in Egypt in the staging area, where the British were obliged to wear their shirts and uh, look all regimental. The Australians went, well, bugger that, it's hot, we're going to strip down. And one of the journalists wrote an article where he made reference to this magnificent naked army and that's where the, the name of the company came from. He's changed the name for the American figurines because the Americans would probably get upset if you know they wouldn't understand what it was about. This range of figurines comes into the category of the Khaki Army. If you Google that you'll come up with the link and I'll put the links to, to both of those things on this video. But they really are absolutely magnificent figurines. So there's the 82nd Airborne paratrooper or he could be 101st, he has two, 182nd one 101st. The Australian Bren Gunner and the Bren Gun itself is actually uh, something that you can remove, it came separately and the detailing on the gun itself is absolutely superb. Like I say the guy is, is a very very skilled craftsman. Let's pop that down there. Then we've got another one of the Khaki Army figurines. This is a US Marine um, from the period of the war dealing with uh, Guadalcanal, the campaign in Guadalcanal. He's got his K-bar, his Garand, all his equipment stowed as per regulations. And as I said there is a range of figures that deal from, you know, everything from the First World War through to the Gulf War through to Afghanistan. They're all equally magnificently detailed. The cost of these things is 150 US dollars which I think is an absolute steal given the quality of the work. It's cold forged bronze so they're quite thick, monumental, and they will last a lifetime. I'll put the links on, you can have a look at the range, and if you feel inclined, you can make a purchase. If you do, just put a note down that Ted sent you. Scott will appreciate that. 
What I'm doing with Scott is we're doing a special commission. It's, it's always been in the back of my mind that I would like to do a, an artwork of some sort dealing with the New Zealanders in World War II. It's always been, you know, obviously it's been a passionate interest of mine since I was a kid. There is a very famous historic photo of New Zealand troops in action. I'm not going to say where because I want to keep this as a surprise. But I wrote to Scott and said, can I commission you to reproduce this photograph in this scale? There are four figurines or four figures in the historic photograph. There's a structure uh, also. Is it possible for you to replicate that? And he got back to me saying, yes, it is. Keen to do it. And as an aside, he's doing a range of figures of this scale for New Zealand military, uh, the New Zealanders in, in World War II, World War I. We've got the 100th anniversary of the Gallipoli landings coming up in 2015. There'll be some sort of commemorative piece available uh, for that. But he seems to be genuinely interested in the New Zealand military history as much as he is that of Australia, Britain and the United States. And he's shown me some photographs of the uh, preliminary models for some, for some of the New Zealand figures and they are absolutely superb. So I'm really looking forward to those being released. These are available in the United States. They're available, I believe, one of the shipping agents is out of Hong Kong. There is a distribution person in the US. You can get them within four or five days of ordering them. I haven't seen anything like them anywhere else in the world at the price for which they are offered. They are absolutely superb. I would pay two, three times the amount that he's charging for works of this quality. So, as we move along on this project, um, my project to, to do the historic photo reproduction, uh, we're looking at that happening maybe six, seven months down the track. We've done the preliminary sketches, he's doing the scoping exercise with respect to cost, etc. And when it's done, I'll show you. This is a hint. I am taking a trip to Monte Cassino this year uh, with a friend of mine. Um, we're going to Anzio, Monte Cassino and uh, also Gallipoli, as well as some other places in Europe. And uh, while I'm there, I'll be doing some research for this particular project. So that might be quite an interesting thing to keep an eye on downstream. Enough of that. I'll put the links up for these. Have a look. If you do order them, tell them I sent you. I don't get any money for it. I'm just interested in supporting this company because I really want to see the guy do well. That's about it, fellas. I will go and post this and talk to you soon.